Vic VP here. The Candy Crane House Midsize Claw Machine is back again for another repair. Let's into that coin. Yes, you heard me right. This is back again for another repair. Now you might be saying, Vic, what happened the first time? You didn't fix it? I actually did. But the real reason that this thing broke down again was actually owner negligence. Now it's really funny, the customer specifically requested that I zip tie the claw in transit to avoid the original reason why it needed to be repaired. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on exactly what happened, but let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it was my fault that this thing broke down again? Or is it just customer negligence? Now to make a long story short, the original repair on this was two minor tweaks needed. Number one, the yarn that guides that claw, it was going through a couple of pulleys that was not aligned properly slash set up properly. The second issue that we ran into is that this whole trolley car, it runs on wheels. And one of the wheels was not on the actual metal rod. After about a day, I got this thing working, but when the customer picked it up, he said, hey Vic, to avoid this trolley car coming off this metal rod, let's zip tie it so that in transit, it won't move. Now because of those zip ties, the customer had to bring this machine back to me. As he unloaded this cabinet, plugged it in, walked away, and after either a couple of minutes or an hour, he came back to an electrical burning smell and also saw smoke coming out of the claw. Now, thankfully, the owner caught this in the nick of time to avoid any major damage or even possibly a fire in his house. The culprit was the zip ties. Because the owner did not remove the zip ties before powering on the machine, the claw machine could not complete its test mode, thus magnetizing the claw for over minutes slash an hour. Now, the customer did tell me that he physically saw smoke coming out of the claw I thought it was gonna be a quick and easy repair. But upon inspection, this actually traveled all the way down to the motherboard, causing a capacitor to explode. And after about two weeks getting a new capacitor and a new claw, we are now back in working, functioning order. Oh, looks like my credit is up. Game over.